sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Well, hello, friends. I'm your pal in the mainstream media. And, and I'm the Riz. And, and you know, know Riz, it takes years of strenuous, dedicated training before you're worthy to step inside a professional wrestling ring. But it takes even more time to develop complex, highly astute opinions about professional wrestling. Am I right? That is correct. Yes. And you know where we can combine that? Yes. On the wrestling man. That's right. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. Well, hello, friends. I'm your pal in the mainstream media. And, and I'm the Riz. And, and you know, know Riz, it takes years of strenuous, dedicated training before you're worthy to step inside a professional wrestling ring. But it takes even more time to develop complex, highly astute opinions about professional wrestling. Am I right? That is correct. Yes. And you know where we can combine that? Yes. On the wrestling man. That's right. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservice.com. Well, hello, friends. I'm your pal in the mystery media. And, and I'm you know, the Riz. And, and you, you know, know Riz, it takes years of strenuous, dedicated training before you step inside a professional wrestling ring. But it takes even more time to develop complex, highly astute opinions about professional wrestling. Am I right? That is correct. Yes. And you know, we can combine that? Yes. On the wrestling man. That's right. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, fiction, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Well, hello, friends. I'm your pal in the mainstream media. And, and you know, I'm the Riz. And, and you know, know, Riz, it takes years of strenuous, dedicated to your worthy to step inside a professional wrestling ring. But it's even more time to develop complex, astute opinions about professional wrestling. Am I right? That is correct. And you know where we can combine that? Yes. On the wrestling man. That's right.
Sidekick Media Services. Kensington, Pennsylvania. It is Thursday night fights, and let's go down to the ring for Carter J. Collins and everyone's favorite show. Ah, oh, jeez. Over all this noise, we want to invite you to join the chat live on YouTube and Twitch. Tell me something, I might repeat it on air. Everybody, welcome to Thursday Night Fights, but most importantly, welcome to everyone's favorite show with Carter J. Collins. Is it? I'm so excited to be here. Missed all of your lovely faces. Welcome. Glad you can make it for my show. I'm so glad to have you here. I'm so glad to have all of you here. Ah. I think everyone here is going to know my guest, and I think everyone is going to be very excited when this individual comes out. So I want everyone to listen closely as I introduce Nix Wild. Take in wonder and amazement as the NB Riot Nix Wild enters the ring. I'm sure, he's going to have a lot on his mind tonight. He's been embroiled in a violent blood feud with Zeke Mercer. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. Thank you. Some guy named John. What do we do here? Does what something do we do? every now and then. Oh, do you like my flower? I do. I love your little flower. Look at this little flower. Look at that flower. It goes really well with my flower. Well, it wasn't here for you. It was here prior. So oh, okay. it is a staple of everyone's favorite show. My bad. In my decorations. Wow. You, may, you may sit. Oh, thank you. You may sit. We, okay. we can have a co good conversation thank here. Thank you. Thank you. This is weird. I know. It's so great being in the presence of everyone's favorite, does it not? I sure. Yeah, I guess. Yes, sure, I guess. It exactly. Exactly. So let's get down to business. 
You are in a little heated feud with Zeke Mercer lately. Unfortunately, yes. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Yeah. Is it just because they keep getting one up on you? Is it just because you keep losing? What is it? Why is it unfortunately? Because in my eyes, I think that they are doing a great job. All right. Well, 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 well. Let's, let's back it up a little bit because the, the true story is that a little over a month ago, Zeke and I had an excellent contest. Okay. That I ended up winning narrowly, I will okay. say. And then Zeke decided to kick me where the sun don't shine. So that's that's how it started. That's how okay. that's how everything got going. Okay. So, get, so I think you so need to understand your facts there, buddy. So what had happened was you got beat up. Sure, uh, Carter. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, sure, I'm right. Yeah. Let's go. With, right. <laughs> let's go with your version of of the history. Sure. Right. So, so then, not too much long later, you two have a match, and then in that match, what happened? Well, it ended up with us just beating the crap out of right, each other, right. and then the entire locker room had to come down and keep us from beating exactly. the crap out of each other. Right. Now, was did the did we come down? I was down there by. I was down there by the way. You're welcome. You're welcome. For yeah, sure. Thanks. Up. Yes, you're welcome. Uh, so were we there to pull you apart or were we there to just save you from another beatdown? Okay. Well, to pull us apart so that I didn't beat the hell out of Zeke. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. I, I'm looking. I'm waiting. Okay. Okay. I'm okay. waiting. Yeah. No. 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 You got more questions, or what? Is, or do you have an actual question for me? I mean, I have plenty of questions. Feels... It's just we have to get to that part. Okay. We're not there yet. We gotta. We gotta put the backstory out there, right? So then, there was a match you two had at with no ring here. Yes. There was no ring, right? Yes. The brawl after bingo at Spirit. Right. Yes. Spirit brawl after bingo. That I won. <laughs> oh yay! <laughs> I won that. I did that. Wow. And, I, and at that point, at that point, I thought that this was all behind us. I thought that that would, would squash the whole situation. Right. But, but it, now it, here no. we are. Here we are. And the only reason you won that was because you put Zeke Mercer through, through a door, not, okay. based on, right. okay. not based on your own ability to beat Zeke Mercer. Okay. I, uh, I did put Zeke through a door. Uh, <laughs> listen, listen. I give, I, I, give Zeke, I give Zeke Mercer all the credit in the world. Zeke Mercer is one of the best talents in this area. That's a fact. Right. That's true. Right. That can't be disputed. Okay. Zeke Mercer. Okay. But don't, let it, don't get it twisted. I beat Zeke Mercer in a match that I have never been in. Zeke has been in no ring contests before. I haven't, and I won that match. Okay. All right. Thank all right. You. All right. All right. So, so, so after you won that match, you were very excited. You were very hyped up. You were ready. And then last week on Thursday Night Fights, you get an opportunity of a lifetime against the Italian strongman Gianni Michael Embrico, the 880 wrestling champion. What, what happened then? You lost. Listen, I can't, I can't deny that last week was one of the biggest opportunities I've ever had in, okay. this, in this ring. Right, right, right. So what happens after you lose? All right, well, let's talk about the fact that before that match even started, Zeke came down here once again, putting their nose where it doesn't belong, Take, beating me down before a match that meant the world to me. Okay. Because it is for the world, the world 880 world championship from 880 wrestling. However, once again, you lost. Here we are, the final week after, and now what? All right. You're not. You want to know? You want to know now what? Listen. Okay. Yes. Yes. I lost that match last week. Okay. But Zeke, Zeke Mercer, I want you to listen to me. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna talk to the camera here. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to the camera because. Uh, oh, okay. You're, you're, First you're getting, off, I, I'm I don't know why. To you. We're getting heated here. Back. We're getting Step heated back. here. Zeke, listen to me. I'm done with Carter. Tomorrow night, Brohemus end of summer bash. 
I want you, Zeke, one more time, one last time in a street fight. You and me, let's settle this. Let's settle. Oh, Zeke Mercer. Zeke Mercer Personal taking it to Boyle Nick's Wild here. Night Beat him up, Zeke. Look at that. Begin, Part is, of everyone's favorite tag team, Mr. Joseph Murphy. There you go. There you go. Get him. Give him a good punch there. Give him, there we go. There you go. Nick's wild Thank you, Mr. Mercer. Assault. I see Mr. What have they got there? Joseph here. I see a beatdown, Nick's wild. So what better way than to get a referee in here? Get a match started, and my tag partner is going to kick some butt. To make this ugly story short here, Nick's Wild has called out Zeke Mercer tomorrow night for a street fight. I'd call that that assault, Nick. And acceptance of that challenge. We are leading into our first match of the evening. We've got Joe Murphy facing off against Nick's Wild with a clear advantage here for the young Joe Murphy. That he's, he's not taking advantage of. Ooh, chop in the corner. I don't know how much he got out of that, but he looks real proud of himself. Oh, nasty tactics here, just rubbing Nick Wild's eyes up against the ropes. That will cause a severe burn. Maintaining an ocular offense here. Being joined at this time by Carter J. Collins. When you look at what this young man Joe Murphy is doing, are you proud of yourself? Are you proud of how you're directing and guiding this young man? Hello, can you hear me? Is everyone able to hear everyone's favorite commentator? Carter yeah, Collins. yeah, yeah, we can hear you. I'm so glad to once again be here at 880 Wrestling. Oh, look One. at that pin. Look at that beautiful pin. Lackadaisical pin. So glad to once again be here. Yeah, welcome. It's so nice to have you. my great streak. Joe As Murphy. everyone's favorite commentator. Yeah, yeah, great stuff. Joe Murphy with a sharp elbow to the small of the back of Nick's Wild. This is how you take opportunity, like I've been telling Mr. Joseph Murphy time and time again, is to take the opportunity that is available to you. An opportunity is one thing. Joe Murphy is capitalizing on a sneak assault by Zeke Mercer. What, what do you have to do with that? Well, the, Nick's Wild was down. We... Mr. Murphy and I did not have a match tonight, so what better way to do this while I come up here and do commentary? That really answers my question. Thank you so much. Joe Murphy not going for a cover. Again, with the foot on the chest. I can't believe you even got a two out of that. It's going to take a lot more to put Nick's Wild down, even when they're fighting at a handicap here. BS, dickhead tactics by Murphy here. Going to go for the Irish whip off the ropes. Nick's Wild able to duck the clothesline. Comes back with the sling, sling blade. blade. That sling blade has put me down a few times in the ring by Nick's Wild. Nick's at this moment unable to make the cover, trying to restore some energy. You were down there in the ring. What did Zeke Mercer hit Nick's Wild with? <laughs> there was a, uh, oh. Have you ever been hit with a roll of quarters before? Oh, that's disgusting. That's terrible. Joe Murphy can't get up off this clothesline. You'd wonder if Nick's Wild should Go be going Mr. through Murphy. the cover right now. He's going to make it a deuce. They're going to make it a deuce. Pardon me. Let's go, Mr. Murphy. Murphy stands back up. Ooh, eats a oh, forearm. Oh. <laughs> Stepped right into the King's Road. A bulldozer on the King's Road oh. is Nick's Wild. Rolling out to create some space and lining up another stiff forearm. The boy's looking weak here. Wow, wow. There we go. And any one of those elbows could have been the match. But it didn't. I'd Mr. Murphy is still alive. Mr. Mr. Murphy. Mr. Murphy can still do this. I'd say young Joe Murphy's chances here are slimmer. The more energy that Nick's Wild can pick up and generate. Oh, again, going to the eyes. What's this? Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Go for that pin. Oh. Nick's Wild says no. Well, that inverted STO, that flat liner from Joe Murphy. You know, Joe Murphy has wrestling talent and acumen, but he walks around with this attitude like he, 
Like, he deserves his spot right now. Of course he, he be, does. I gave it to him. He could be capitalizing on this uh, opportunity. He could have won the match by now. But instead, raking the eyes, using these filthy tactics. You have to take the advantage. No, no, available. no. He couldn't be going for that pedigree. It's a double underhook. Happening. And that hubris is going to get young Joe Murphy a trip down to Death Valley with the driver. And Nick's Wild, they are victorious tonight. It's unfortunate. And here is your winner, Nick Wild. An admirable victory there by the NB Ryan. And they're going to carry that momentum into a street fight tomorrow night. Again, Zeke Mercer, you want to be down here at 880 5th Avenue, New Kensington, PA, tomorrow night. What's the name of the event, CJC? You got it? I can't say Big Booty Bash. <laughs> you can't say Big Booty Bash. folks i'm standing here live with amateur wrestler reese hayes now reese you're coming off a losing streak of 45 losses but then you turn it around with your last three matches so tell us what comes next for reese hayes hopefully more women i mean it feels pretty good it's reese i told you buddy i told you you could win i knew you were a winner i mean you kicked out of the pittsburgh plunge i still beat you but then you won three matches in a row you're whoa, a whoa 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 give me this one back up back up little winning streak huh yeah so far well guess what that's about to end because tonight you two take on a real team we're the steel city killers so okay whatever thursday night fights the runway mv young reese hayes yeah so celebrations over bitches making their way straight from the catwalk Weighing in at 48 karat gold, the fashionista of pro wrestling, Kevin Couture, and Mr. Design, Tyler Klein. Together they are the Runway. Here we have the Runway with that beautiful swag. Designer clothes, designer gear. Easily the most fashionable tag team in all of the Appalachian independent scene. They walk with a lot of attitude and confidence. And their opponents. Making his way to the ring first. Are you excited? Are you excited, Carter? Not truly. That's disappointing. Weighing in. Here's a young competitor who has been nothing but a pride and joy for 880 wrestling. wrestling. And he's on a roll. Hayes. Everybody loves amateur wrestler Reese Hayes. Now, now to quit in the kid. I will say I am very excited to be a part of his losing streak as I have beat him twice to add to that number of losses. Wow. Congratulations. We must say hello to JZ, BC, Blake O'Brien, Campbell K in the chat here. Hello. And his partner.
Daddy Foam. MV Young makes his way to the ring. Reese has tag team partner tonight. Do you smell it? I think there's about to be a dinger in the air. And away it goes. Is that, is that what we call? Is that what we call it? Dingers. We're just hitting dingers out here, baby. We're making movies. Calvin Couture starting it off for the wonderful runway. We're going to start with the younger, the less experienced, a bit speedier, Reese Hayes. As Mr. Toddy Tondera likes to say, the little jumping bean. We miss you, Toddy, and we love you very much. We hope you're doing okay. Not doing okay is Calvin Couture in this wrist lock. A strict, tight wrist lock. See, see how Reese has it held close to the sternum, not letting any uh, any air breathe there. No room to escape. Easy switch on the waist lock there. A headlock takeover. They do not call him amateur wrestler for nothing. Kid's got skills. Able to kick out of that roll-up attempt. But I am sure we will see the experience of Calvin Couture experience some crafty veteran shortcuts i'm sure but you wouldn't call them that I wow wow look at that look at the strength in one finger to maintain the grip on that headlock oh, it's it's gonna it's gonna take some tomfoolery like that it's a hair pull a hair pull opportunity illegal in the rule books of wrestling down into that head scissor and Rize is able to kip out of that three attempts back to the headlock Anchoring down on that headlock takeover. Good stuff. This sure is wrestling. Thank you for joining us for Thursday Night Fights. We hope you're at home ripping bombs. I do anyway. Reversal on the headlock after a stomp to the foot. Not necessarily illegal, but dickhead behavior for sure. Look at that beautiful, beautiful smile. He's not smiling right now. Taking... Taking some punches to the solar plexus there. Reese is going to push him. Uh -oh. I guess the waist lock. Going for an O'Connor, but he did not see the tag there. The legal competitor, Tyler Klein. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. what a kick. A stomp to the sternum while Reese was bridging back. That cannot be good for the neck, for the ribs, for the back. You've got to think this is... Butterfly oh, This is beautiful. early in the contest, but Reese Hayes has got to Not yet. survive and make it to the other end of that ring. We've got to tag MV Young in. Shout out to uh, Pod Van Ed. I want to say Pod Van Ed, maybe. They Sounds say, about right. oh golly, these commentators have such a smooth tone. This is pleasant, just like that beautiful... Double back elbow to Reese Hayes. Nothing pleasant about a double back elbow, CJC. Reese Hayes is going to fight up off the mat in spite of it. Going to show fighting spirit known only to the Steel City Killers unless Calvin Couture pulls those beautiful locks down to the mat. Bullshit, CJC. Opportunity. These two, the runway, know where the opportunity lies, and they will take it when it shows itself. I'll tell you what, making a lot of use of quick tags, alternating and maintaining their stamina throughout this might mean that uh, the team together can outlast a very able Reese Hayes, who's stuck in enemy territory right now. Sends a back elbow, he's fighting both men off. Tyler Klein pushed out of the mat, roll through, and a tag. Here's the former king of Pittsburgh. Big clothesline, big beefy clothesline. Suckers have been, scoops him up for a slam, and a max oh. it on. Gonna drive all the air out of Calvin Couture. What a, what a strut. <laughs> Reversal on the Irish whip, and a knee to the back, I believe, by Tyler Klein on the outside. 
caught MV Young unawares. And now there wasn't even a tag there. Tyler Klein's just gonna step in. Oh, oh but it's not gonna stop. The King, MV Young with a double clothesline. Former King. I don't MV know, it Young. says it on his ass. I'm, I'm prone to believe it. Ooh. That has to hurt. Grotch and Calvin Couture there. He did it to himself. Oh. Mm. That definitely hurt. Needs a chop for all his efforts. You see, he's been doing this lately. Oh, God. Uh oh. A miserable series of blows, the way those knuckles are placed against the sternum will drive all the air out of Calvin Couture's lungs. It's going to cause a nasty bruising on that one. two. Aided by the back suplex. Excuse me. Stick vertical over the top. What am I talking about? Who knows what you're talking about? I don't. Pull <laughs> hey, uh, tip for tat, MV Young pulling Calvin Couture up by the hair. Uh, what's there? He says corner clothesline. And Snapmare bringing it back down to the mat. Moonsault! Oh. And a beauty! Didn't hesitate for a second on that, just sent it. This is why Mr. Tondera calls him a little jumping bean. It's cute when he does it. Couture powers. Rese is back into the corner. I just don't know how beans jump. It's a, it's a dated reference at what, best. What is I'd a say. jumping bean? Beautiful stomps by Tyler Klein. Is the mustache new on Tyler Klein? Well, unless it takes a day to grow, I would say it is not. Evolving looks, always serving new looks, are the runway. Calvin Couture just choking Reese Hayes out on the mat with his boot from from the apron. Opportunity, yep. baby. That's not tag team wrestling. Bullshit, it's dickhead behavior. Scoop, body slam in the corner. You can see the ring cut in half, diagonally. Reese has very little room to breathe and just has to keep surviving these pinfall attempts. You want to see the match continue. As long as the runaway can find a way to, I'm going to say it, to cheat, to get these cheap shots in to run just below the ref's radar. Reese Hayes remains fighting back, but now it looks like he's even the odds with that clothesline. Reese is right there. But struggling still even to reach out, clutching his ribs there. There's a tag to MV Young. King's in. Double sledge. Quadruple sledge. Oh, but takes toe kick three from No Mercy. Whipped into his own corner. Wow, look at the agility of MV Young with his size, speed, and strength with the European uppercut. <laughs> Not satisfied with the ass beatings. Brings Tyler Klein into the ring the hard way. Scoop, and a slam onto Calvin Couture. He's gonna tag Reese Hayes back in. Hayes to the top. I don't Hayes know if it's doing? great to be taking Hayes into the ring again. Oh, and he missed. That, that did not pay off. That splash attempt did not pay off. I, oh, wow. MV Young's head was run into the sheet metal wall just below us. Did you feel that? I felt it. It felt great. Terrible. A double vertical suplex and stalling. And how? You could count to infinity. But they're going to send Reese Hayes down to the mat. Find the legal man. Going to make the cover. MV Young with the save. Everyone, everyone is down on the mat. We have Jamal Samson calling it an awesome in wrestling match here. First to their feet was Calvin Couture. We are exchanging blows in the center of the ring. We are walking down the fabled King's Road here in the Dottie Dome. And I like it. Look at that. The runway get the advantage on the strike exchange. I am impressed. Duck under. Double German suplex with the bridge. And that's going to do it.
notch another W up on that cage match for Reese Hayes, would you? trying every light underhanded tactic they could. Well, they still look amazing. Yeah, but All right, let's there. give it up for that tag team match. Are you afraid to get dunked on? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. One. Making her way to the ring. Megasa making their way to the ring. From Mexico! Great to see some loose representation here. Megasa! Megasa! Yes. Megasa! Look at that, yeah, nah, she can hear me! Beautiful, look at that mask. Beautiful mask. And her opponent. Tatiana is going to hold down the house against Pegasa. Pegasa, new to the Dottie Dome? Pegasa! Yes, yeah, yeah, Pegasa. Will, will Tatiana win and make it a trifecta? You ask all the hard out questions. Of, out of the wildflowers. Or, how about that? All three will, wildflowers in uh, separate matches. Or will Tatiana be the one reason the Wildflowers don't get three wins tonight. CJC, you're a miserable human being, and I don't like the way you think. Let's see how this contest unfolds. Damn, all right, Pegas is kicking some ass. It's a little foolhardy there by Tatiana to go and extend the hand to Pegasa, who I think has shown some, yeah, some dickhead tendencies still. You know what I like to call them. Call them like I see them. They're dickhead tendencies, and Pegasa's displaying them now, which is a shame. Talented luchador, no? We can agree to disagree. All right. I mean, I mean, you're a dickhead, but all right. Just pressing the heel into the sternum of Tatiana. You gotta wonder when uh, the unwilting one is gonna start to uh, drive some fight and return here. But maybe caught off guard. Too kind. Not riding the same wave of a killer instinct. Where are those thorns? I will say Pegasa has to use that opportunity like I keep talking about. You have until five. No, oh, no. Pegasa is focused. Focused on the victory. First pinfall attempt, and I think we got a two out of that. There it is. 
A series of forearms sends Pegasa all the way back into the corner. Snap Mare out, and... Ooh, a kick between the shoulder blades. It's gonna sting. And with a sliding D, the elbow there. One, two. Not getting all of that cover. Look the unwilting the Tatiana. On Pegasa's face. Pegasa is focused. Got the clinch there, standing Pegasa up. Pegasa, ah, able to turn that around into a jawbreaker. Not endearing herself to the fan base here is Pegasa. Tatiana talking some kind of shit. Ooh. A lot of, a lot of boot, <laughs> just a lot of boot action. That's how you get the crowd on your side. Oh, oh. my goodness. What do you call that? Do we still call that the Bronco Buster? I would. All righty. Not enough to put Tatiana away. I never thought that move was so serious. What a cocky move to pull. Again, the dickhead behavior is only going to get the 880 faithful behind your opponent. The audience displaying their support for Tatiana. Who's throwing in strikes. Who's fighting back. Burying up her offense as well with that European uppercut. And a clothesline. Very close to the ropes here. Pegasa. Great kick out by Pegasa. There we go. Able to kick out there. Now, is this some cockiness from Tatiana here? Definitely, definitely. There's uh, clear shit talk going down in the middle of the ring and hair pulling. That's yeah. What Whoa. Close. Catches her face before it hits the turnbuckle. Pegasa. Oh, oof. Leading into the corner here. Gets turned around. Is eating some forearms here. Uh, Irish whip. Reverse. Nice reversal. Into the corner. That's Pegasa got here. Leads in with the snap there. Able to pick up a, a heightened pace as Pegasa, and look at that, rolling, flipping neck breaker. Incredible, very impressive athleticism. But not capitalizing on the cover there. Tatiana's still sitting up. That was a look of frustration on Tatiana's face. Just a is bit. She, is she frustrated that she is not, is not getting the upper hand right now? You've gotta be. You've got to be. If you knew anything about winning, CJC, you'd know it's miserable. It is to amazing be down to win. The, yes. You know it's miserable it to be miserable down in a match. Oh, my oh. Ducking the kick. Rolls up. Schoolboy cover. Two and a three. And just like that, it can happen. That's very true. And here is the winner of your match. Very true. That can happen Tatiana! just like that out of nowhere. And so all of the wildflowers tonight victorious. statement for all of you the wildflowers go three and oh tonight the kids the the young guns here at 880 all right before we start our next contest i want to thank all the people who make this show possible each and every week first off we have the amazing team at sidekick media who stream to us live weekly on IndieWrestling.us. Are they talking about us? On commentary, we have the private browser, Mr. Odie Mauser. That's me. That's me. Uh, <laughs> the private browser. <laughs> we have so Aleo and Cole rocking the sound for us tonight. Some guy named John forgot Let's hear it one last time for everyone up there. All right, back to violence. I forgot about CJC. The Great. next contest Great. is scheduled for one fall. I think I like some guy named John. To beat him up. No, I like him. Shut up. You're 
wrong. Oh, let's go. Making let's go. go. Ring. He is he the king of my grizzlies. Bro, he met him. He's the filter. the smoking section real quick. Only 880 wrestlers would have a smoking section. I wish I was there. And his opponent. Man, this match is gonna rip. Oh man. <laughs> he is one half of the fourth line. That's my the buddy. Boy, That's my buddy my Casey. Maniac. He wants us to fucking go. Casey War on the path to the ring. This is such a good concept on, or this match is such a good concept on paper. The hard-hitting Brohemoth. It's gonna be that Muay Thai maniac. The shoot psycho, Casey War. I don't know if he's ever happy. What's that? I don't know if he's ever happy. How do you live a life without happiness? He's so happy. Did, did you not see Casey do the Bella entrance and, and smile? There was no smile. He's letting you know you can look, but you can't touch. I got to peer over. Look at that sportsman-like handshake. Yeah, yeah, that is true. These two athletes respect each other. Sorry, they I also. Them that. They also know what's on the other end of that ring. That respects that admiration. <laughs> that also identifies just how dangerous each man is in the center of that ring. Casey avoiding these lockups and going for kicks to the base of Brohemoth. This is a smart strategy. And this leans into Casey's skill set. You gotta wonder how Brohemoth's gonna Gonna kind of tussle around this now. Who's gonna take the first opportunity? Ooh! Bro goes in not too low, but just to the just to the abdomen with a high knee. The shoulder tackle doesn't take Casey Ward down. No, no. Oh. Smart. Convinced Casey was gonna eat that shoulder tackle or try to show. But no, no, he's got a drop kick in that arsenal like no other. Doesn't and take it sends Brohemoth down. It sends a Brohemoth all the way to the corner. So let's fucking go. Wow, wow. A high leg lariat, a calf kick in the corner there. Ooh, and a rising knee down to that headlock. And Casey War gets launched. It's a little too early for that ambitious offense on the Brohemoth. Gigabyte Grizzly. Lock up that T-bone outside grip on the suplex there. With ease, able to throw a grown man overhead. And now, oh, gnarly scoop slam. He has done it to me quite a bit, and I will tell you, it does not feel good. No, Brohemoth slams his opponents down with force, with down force. It's not just the gravity that's going to get you here. Bro with a fireman's carry lift here. Casey War is going to try to get down, working some elbows, wants to loosen the equilibrium there. Ooh, and a kick directly to the patella there. <laughs> Leaves Brohemoth vulnerable to the knee to the face. But wow, I have, I have never seen someone go to kick directly into the kneecap of another wrestler. That, <laughs> that was sick. That was awesome. Looked like it hurt. I like to refer to walking the King's Road. I wonder if Bro will be able to step any further after that. Ooh. No let up there. Casey's going to scoot Brohemoth out of the ring. Casey Ward going down to the apron. We're up in the ante here. Getting production to move out of the way. And, ooh, knee strike. 
great opportunity there. You talk about opportunity, that, that is an opportunity. Any way to be able to take Rohemoth down is an opportunity. But with smarts, with tact there, Casey War is able to level the playing field, at least when it comes to that height differential. And damn, he's chopping some wood now. He is just laying these kicks right into the body of Brohemoth. There's not much of a defense. He's eating all of those to the ribs. Bro has to reserve on some heavy wind to do the moves that he does, to move with the pace that he does, to exert all of his strength. Taking away the kneecap, taking away uh, the strikes at the diaphragm, at the sternum here, is such smart professional wrestling from Casey War. Intelligent combat. But Bro Hemoth ain't no slouch. And Bro Hemoth isn't about to be out-tacked. Headbutt sends Casey War all the way into the corner. Irish whip all the way across the ring, but can't capitalize on that splash. Another kick, again to that right leg. Very smart on Mr. War's part there. Ooh. I've taken that kick. Well, Not the side that, and thank goodness. A roundhouse to the head. And you gotta think gorgeous George, our official tonight, might want to duck down and check on the consciousness of Brohemoth after a kick like that. Very smart, very smart of uh, Mr. Referee there. He's right about that. I always Bro, talk Bro, about people. Oh, go ahead. I always talk about people knowing their surroundings, and Mr. Referee knew his surroundings right there. Very smart. But Ooh. Casey knew another smart thing. Casey War knew that that may not have been enough since he had to pull him up. Brohemoth catches the kick. He's had enough of this bullshit. Oh, headbutt right to the chest. He's held on control of the leg. He's scooping Casey War all the way back up. Back suplex position, yes, a back suplex. What do you think is going through Casey War's mind there? He's trying to make sure that he's, uh, he's trying to make sure he's not faded. A back suplex will land you right on the back of your head. But Casey War is smart enough to place his hands back there. And he's good, he's up, he's got his equilibrium, a forearm strike. Is this the opportunity? Look at that, okay. Some whoa, 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 here. whoa, whoa. Ooh. Oh. I don't love that. That's sicko dickhead behavior by Casey War. The shoot psycho. Oh, that was close. I, I thought that was it. I really thought that prone knee strike would have been a certain victory. Brohemoth had uh, not a lot of defense, and he couldn't see where that was coming, and struck him right in the back of the head. This is the grit. This is the will of the Gigabyte Grizzly. Oof. How many more? How many more kicks can he take? And again, a catch there. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Oh! Enzugiri. Bro took too much time. You got to wonder if it's rising up on that weakened knee. If it's all the air driven out. The DDT will cut every wrestler down to size. A two count. See how Casey War captured that far arm, hoping to uh, avert that, but. Well, let's see what Casey War is going to do here. What left is he able to do? He's got an arm captured. He's holding that arm bar. to have almost no effect on Brohemoth here. As Casey War exhausted his kicks, or the legs tired, now we're looking at a new approach where Brohemoth able to rise from, from all strategies, it seems. Seems like that shocked Mr. War. When Brohemoth gets going, he is virtually unstoppable. We gotta see how he's gonna fight through the assault He's endured for most of this match. You almost never see Brohemoth on the receiving end of the punishment for any of his matches. Oh, oh my goodness! An on-target knee strike. A super kick right under the chin. It definitely looked like Mr. War was going to be down and out right there. 
Goes back to that rising knee. Can he succeed with the bulldog combination? Whoa, 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 whoa. Brohemoth based out. He's got him up. Face buster from the back suplex position. He loves to squash his opponents with that pancaking maneuver. Brohemoth's calling for that. MMD up on the shoulders. Oh, flattens Casey War. And we've got a three count. Casey War can't answer it. Your winner is Bro Heyman. Bro Heyman. going in strong to the big booty bash. These guys gave each other their best fight tonight. You really like to see that. Real classy stuff. It's just guys being dudes. What's better than that? Bond Bunny says it makes a mean pancake when Brohemoth likes to do that. Front facing pancake, I would say. That's what I called it. All right, people. And just a reminder that Brohemoth will be back tomorrow for his end of the summer batch. Big You're all gonna be there. <laughs> Sorry. Big all right. It is now time for your main event. That's why it's just some guy named John. The following contest is scheduled for. One fall. Making oh, shit, my his bad. way to the ring. They hail from the Jackson, already Mississippi. On your show. No Jury. mercy. Zeke Mercer. Once again, when I talk about opportunity, Zeke Mercer makes their own opportunities just like they did earlier tonight on everyone's favorite show with Carter J. Collins. I smell collusion. It stinks and I don't like it. And their opponent. Wrestling fans, are you ready to get wet and wild? Because there is the wettest, the wildest. Satan's favorite Saint Brandon Saint James. He is Satan's favorite Saint. And the trust. He's gonna high five everyone except Giotti on the way to the ring. Once again, making his way out of Mosh retirement. Why do you think that he is wearing that shirt tonight? Just supporting the boys. Don't you have friends? I have Car plenty of friends. I'm everyone's favorite. Yeah, get him, Brandon. I, I still don't understand this. I don't get what it is. These friends, do they just go to another school? I have friends <laughs> at every school. If you go to a school, you're a Carter J. Collin friend. Here's another, here's another surefire on paper. Good wrestling match. Have Zeke and St. James tangled before? You've been here longer. I'm not exactly sure. This could be a first one in a time, once in a lifetime match here. Chicken cage match live. Mercer doing the right thing. What's he doing? Describe what he's doing. Zeke Mercer. Wow. Zeke Mercer is asking. He's asking uh, referee Gorgeous George to check Brandon St. James, maybe for like foreign objects. Zeke 
Mercer is ready. Yes, get Zeke's music ready. Strong start by Zeke Mercer there. How do you justify the attitude change in a competitor like Zeke Mercer? Now, of course, he's raised his profile. Zeke took the opportunity that was needed to raise their profile. And look at where it has got them so far. I can't, I can't deny the results of their efforts. They're lock up here in the middle of the ring, and Brandon St. James that able to. Looks like a little bit of choke there. No, no, just pushing the aggression. No one's, no one's forearms, no one's hands are in front of anyone's throat. Just a sturdy lockup. Both of these guys just jockeying for position here. Frustration. Talking about. Frustration's rising quickly. Brandon St. James isn't going to take a slap to the face. Multiple forearms followed by that running back elbow in the corner. A European uppercut it looks like. Oh my goodness, Zeke Mercer launches himself out of the corner and starched Brandon St. James with that lariat. Opportunity awaits, you just have to find it. Zeke's gonna pitch St. James to the floor here. Pretty unnecessary, he had him, uh, had him handled and on the mat. So you gotta wonder what this is about. Sometimes you just need to beat up the other person. That sledge across the a back into harder. the back of the neck was nasty. That kick to the head was direct. This is this is a different Zeke Mercer than the uh, the person that I met about a month and a half ago. People change, and they change for the better, especially when it raises their profile. I don't even want to call this dickhead behavior. This is just vicious. He's turned up his aggression tenfold. They have turned up their aggression tenfold. And it's working for them. Boot to the face. Brandon St. James is just trying to stay alive here. And I'm really worried about his condition at this point because every one of Zeke Mercer's strikes have landed clean, have landed hard. And in places in general, you don't want to get hit if you'd like to do math tomorrow. How much math do you think Brandon St. James does? Do you think he does Sudoku? <laughs> I'm not exactly sure, but Sudoku is great. Well, have some trouble with it if left is his writing arm. His Mercer is wrenching it over his shoulder. Picking up a lot of momentum in the corner for that clothesline. It's a beautiful jumping line there. Soaking in the jeers, the 880 faithful. The Dotty Dome disapproving. Cover here, just mean, a mean and nasty cover with the forearm across the bridge of the nose there. St. James realizes he has to fight back. Just throwing the chops, but wow, Ouchie. wow. Every strike from Zeke Mercer is a solid land. Ooh, that snap suplex reverberated off the walls. He Look said at those it. Eyes. Yeah, yeah, he said the fuck word. Zeke Mercer harassing Gorgeous George in the corner. I don't like that. Don't harass my Gorgeous George. I'll if, call Walter Fumbles on you. As long as Mr. Referee is doing their job, and there's no need to be harassing them. And I'm not sure that Mr. Referee is doing their job to the best of their ability right now. You, sh you shush. George, George is a beautiful ref. Calls it right down the middle. He will want to check underneath St. James' beard. Make sure that forearm is not slipping down to the throat, that it's staying on the jawline. Throwing those short back elbows is going to allow St. James to free himself. But it's a trap. A spinning wheel kick from Zeke Mercer. Zeke Mercer seems to always be a step one ahead, up, knowing what's coming next. Bullshit cover there. Hate to see it. Zeke Mercer might have had the match and he could stop pouting, but, excuse me, they. It doesn't look like Zeke Mercer is pouting. It looks like Zeke, Mer Zeke Mercer is planning their next move. 
What a plan. Locking the hammer lock and then driving forearms. First down to the back of the arm, and then it looks like the back of the head. A strict face lock. The forearms just driving across the cheekbone and the jaw there. And it's also cranking St. James' neck. This is a miserable, this is a torturous position to be in. If you can see, the eyes of St. James are expressing the pain that his body has to endure right now. Pulls around to the full Nelson. He's got that locked in tight. Definitely this is like just a full pain. Nelson attempt. He's going to try to zap the strength out of Zeke Mercer, and I think it's a great idea. Cut off the blood flow to those arms. Get those strikes out of the equation while you can. Mercer Close. trying to draw to the ropes, but St. James has the wherewithal still to pull back to center ring. Got to be something Zeke Mercer is able to do here to get out of this. Looks like the arm hand has come unclasped. Able to grab wrist control. Throw, throw those elbows back. Oh. Look at that roaring elbow. Good kick out by Zeke Mercer. You can see some blood in the mouth of Brandon St. James. That's how, that's how bad this one has been. That's how bad this match has been for him so far. Zeke Mercer has been violence forward from the bell. And I've just seen, I believe we have just seen an evening of the playing field. here. Count reaches five. We're button heads. We're getting down to the meat and potatoes here. Mm, and just throwing forearms to the jawline. With everything we know about head injuries, this gets harder to watch with each forearm. You gotta wonder how Zeke Mercer's, oh, oh my goodness, on their feet. They throw the Urican. St. James answers. Blue Thunder Bomb. Oh, the two count. Good kick out by Zeke Mercer there. It might have been St. James' best chance to get a quick, devastating maneuver and lock in that pin. You can see Satan's favorite saint asking the one beneath, what must I do? Exactly. It looks like you can see on Mr. St. James' face. Oh, oh he's going to eat a second. Spinning back forearm almost. An elbow and then a blue thunder bomb all their own. Oh. But it ain't enough. You can see that same frustration in Zeke Mercer's face, but I think Zeke Mercer has it. I think they know what they can do. When does self-doubt start to set in? Oof. So many attempts to end the match. When you have competitors, when you have professional wrestlers who are this resilient, this passionate about their craft, and this is goddamn brutal. You've got to get frustrated when you can't put your opponents away. St. James going for that sunset. Wow, he's got him. That's a three. Looked like he cheated to me. Randy St. James. Look at our boy. Look at our boy, Brandon St. James. Lead from the mouth. Hey, 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 hey. Looked like he cheated a little bit to me. This bullshit. Can, I we think, get, uh, can we get some of the killers out there? I think Zeke Mercer feels the same way. There's no cheat. There's no pulling of the tights. There's no pulling of the hair. There's no poke to the eyes like we've seen throughout the night. God. Someone put a stop to this. Brandon's won the match. Uh, no, no. Look at our great champion. Could we come we'll back to the ring? Can we get Johnny anyone out Michael there? A brain Ringo buster right there. Brain Buster isn't a move you're just supposed to take when someone... Looks like Gianni Michael Enrico is telling Zeke Mercer to get a chair, maybe? Hey, come on now. What is Zeke Mercer going to do with this chair? Everything, everything that Zeke did throughout the match was enough. That Brain Buster was too far. 
Can anyone? Can you? You're a wrestler. Can you go down there? It's. I don't think that Mr. St. James is defenseless. I think Mr. St. James is able to defend themselves. I think Zeke Mercer is a poor sport. He attacked Brandon St. James from behind. St. James might not know where he is right now, thanks to that brain buster. Once again, it might just be that opportunity. Can, we, can George get the chair out of the corner, please? Can someone do anything? Nick Wild's going to rush to the aid here, and that makes perfect sense. Thank goodness he's here. They're here. All night, but some of the worst. Looks like uh, Look, they're both taking it out to the street. Because they're going to have a street fight tomorrow. But now we can't Bud see what's going dunks. on. I hope you feel great about that. Hey, what's Champ doing? But Gianni, Michael, and Rico's entered the ring. Hey, there's, there's no reason for... Oh, oh. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Gianni, Michael, and Rico taking the opportunity. Um, can we get can we get some help out here? We might have to call. Do you see the dent in that chair? Carter, what the fuck are you doing? Put your fucking hand down. Jesus Christ. Uh, if we can get some assistance down to the ring. Oh, jeez. Uh, uh, we got blood. Brandon St. James is bleeding. His head split open. Are you proud? Do you think this is cool, CJC? Gianni Michael Enrico has taken the advantage that all champions can take. What's the champ have to do? What does what, he have to prove? What is what is he going to say? Let's listen. How convenient, asshole. This kid's the worst. Just in case any of you are wondering tomorrow, this belt is being defended against Gannon Jones Jr. <laughs> leaving my hands because I am the robe wearing the Italian ass kicking 90 days is your 880 champion the face of New Kensington Gianni Michael That is a champion right there. What's wrong with this kid? What did he say? The robe wearing. Look at that. What has he that done? That is the look of a champion. This sociopath has blood on his arms. So I'm even thinking twice about it. Drops the belt. Genius. The robe wearing. Italian ass kicking. As long as the dangerous night screw. As long as the gavel David Lawless is in control around here, this kid thinks he can do whatever he wants. And they've handed him this belt. It's pretty much proof positive. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to see you tomorrow night here at 885th Ave for Bro Heemless End of Summer Bash. I'm going to call it the Big Booty Bash. Big Booty Bash. You want to get down here at 6 p.m.? It's $10. There's bands. And you can see us live on Twitch and on YouTube. I'd like to thank you all for joining us for Thursday all the nice night. night fights. Thanks, Gianni, our champion just made clear we are back tomorrow night for Pro Emit. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com.